I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com with another great piano for you. It's been a Baldwin bonanza this summer, honestly. And this beautiful SF Baldwin seven foot piano just came in and it's a real treasure. The soundboard is immaculate. It's got a nearly flawless set of ivories and the tone and the action of this piano is really unparalleled. I'm gonna tell you more about it, but first I want you to hear the beauty of the tone. Honestly, if you're looking for just a spectacularly wonderful piano and don't have the room for a nine foot piano, this is as good as it gets. Up there with the best double B Mason and Hamlins and Steinway Bs I've played, the Baldwin seven foot piano represents the pinnacle of American piano manufacturing. Better than that, Baldwin, unlike Steinway and Mason and Hamlin, were really at the top of their game in the 1960s and 70s where Mason and Hamlin was making good pianos and Steinway under CBS ownership, maybe not their stellar period. Baldwin indeed was making phenomenal pianos. This piano was very, very well cared for. In fact, Van Cliburn's piano technician rebuilt the action in 1992. The action is stupendous. It uh, is velvety smooth, responsive, and very quiet. This would be not only a suitable instrument for performance venue, but for recording, it would be a great piano. Baldwin, of course, is noted for a singing tone on the top and a tremendous thunderous bass as well. I'm gonna play some chords from the Tchaikovsky B-flat minor piano concerto so you can hear the big tone throughout all registers. Really, this piano has no weakness. The case is also gorgeous, uh, beautiful finish. I'm going to close now with a little bit of Chopin Nocturne so you hear the beautiful singing quality to the tone.
a total joy to play. A, really, the next best thing to my nine-foot concert grand Baldwin that I have upstairs. If you have the space for a seven-foot piano, you will not be disappointed in the performance and the sound of this instrument. Thanks for joining me here at livingpianos.com. And until next time, I'm Robert Estrin. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.